If you hear a little noise in the background, it's the wind. I'm going to work with a thick yellow line. So I'm going to go ahead in here and get a thick line. I said yellow, but I'm going to make it red. So now you can see the red line. I'm going to move it. You see this area over here, which is a hexagon? This, this hexagon over here. This hexagon over here. I'm assuming it's created with this. I slip this onto it. I cannot pull this all the way to the end. Otherwise, I'm going to get these cut corners. This is the perfect one. This is not because I cannot recreate it. And the only way to create it is to come all the way down to this size over here. Do you see the size over here? This piece over here? This is where it starts and it ends over here. When I put it short, when I run it short, right? Like if you heard a stock option that's running short, this is what happens to it. Now you can see there's a cube angle. In this cube angle, if we do it properly, okay, and that was a cube, it would be on this angle, and we would transfer from this center here into this center here using this area space. S-P-A-C-E equals to a total, okay, S-P-A-C-E equals to a total of 44. But we use the S letter. Using the S letter is the 19th letter. It is a representation of using the R letter in the English language because it comes in the A family. If we have it come into the French, we would have the E family because in French they say air instead of R. So air, although it's pronounced A-I and R, artificial intelligent resident, they put it as E-R, as in the pronunciation is Terre, one of the only planets in the French language of the nine planet system that I'm basing this on that is not part of the same letters. Terre, T-E, T and E, R, R and E, otherwise said as Earth, Mercury, and Venus, and Mars, and Jupiter, especially Mars spelled exactly the same, just like six. We always have to remember that six is a representation of also a four because it's the half-life inside four. It's actually creating the cross or the diamond shape because the diamond shape, the greatest diameters, are in the center. Otherwise, the greatest diameters are one and nine. So we know when we're using shapes and we know that the angle of one, five, and nine is a greater distance or a bigger angle than three and seven because as you switch angles, you switch distances. So when we come into this design over here in which this whole design that I made okay, is based on all hexagons. I stretched out. You see the hexagon here? I stretched it out. It was a perfect hexagon. Hold on a second. I took that design and I stretched this out. Then what I was going to do, because remember the flag, they say the flag ratio is two and three. So two and three would equal to four and six. Two and three would equal to six and nine. That is what they call the flag ratio, two and three. What I do to the flag ratio is I'll go Four times two to create it, which equals to eight, and four times three equals to 12. I'm going to calculate that. Four times two is eight, four times three is 12. Or they call it two and three. The two-thirds ratio becomes eight and three, okay? Inside of this, I'm going to bring you on to the next level of this, okay, scenario. And so I've, I've done that. I've showed you that. So let's um, stop this video for a second and bring you back to the conclusion of this where I'm going to lock this shape in, okay? I need to turn this shape to the side. I will rotate it, okay? And then I will bring in this continuous shape over here. There you go. And now the shape fits. This automatically will now create this shape over here. I have to bring this down a little bit so it's equal. So all the lines cover. So it now creates the cube in the center. And this is what they do. Remember, the talus that goes around your neck. This is half your neck. This is your whole neck. So it is an extended, just like the shape of the chalice. This is the shape of the chalice, okay? Now, if I put it on this angle, okay, you're going to start seeing different images come out. Look at the area shape here and the area shape here. This is the point of the next design. And in that next design, if I really want, I can use this shape over here and put that shape into here. And automatically, so that we cover the area, I would be having to open it up to a certain distance. Everything is mathematics. Why? Because the end result is how you got there. And this is how I would now influx these two together, standing for my windmill in the beginning of my windmill, and at the same time, the, the building of the Magandubid, which is shown on the talus, because this part is what goes around your neck on the talus, and at the same time, well, I stopped this one. I didn't pull this one to the end. I should have. You see this over here? You can see the way it starts to shape the cube. See the part on the outside and the center to the inside, transferring from one doorway to the other doorway and north and south. These are connecting. Everything goes up and everything goes down. Army stripes, up and then down, and up and then down. And one of the reasons for the L is either you count these two area spaces or you don't. If you don't count it, you count it as a V. V stands for five because it is part of this side and it is part of this side. If it is a right angle or left angle where it's a straight line and a V, you would count it as four, five, and six. This is exactly what they count inside of the um, Roman numerals. So now, if we were to take the same area shape, okay, and we can do the same thing in this potential area over here. Now, I'm not sure, I'm never sure what I'm going to be building from these. I just build as I go and see what I can do. I don't finish a lot of my stuff. And the reason I don't finish a lot of my stuff is because I'm not alone in this. 
you're taking part because you're the answer to everything. What you're going to tell me it goes or it doesn't go. It goes or it doesn't go. And then we're going to take the shape. Okay, you see the way I put it down and the point stays up? I have to take this and go to rotate. And I have to now flip it. And now when I flip it, right, I now get the point going down. If I get the point going down, I must run it. See these area boxes here? I must run it through these two boxes. Okay. And I must run it all the way down to, I'm trying to figure out which area has to be run in. It has to be run to here. And when I run it to these areas over here, I will now create another box area over here. At the same time, I want to remove these shapes and show you this area over here. If you notice, here is my V. Okay, here is my V. And my V is to the left side in which it takes up one half of this area and to the right side. Okay, my L's, my V's, my W's are all expressing where I am in this blueprint, uh, okay, which is not finished. If I want to keep running these blueprints, what I'll actually do, okay, is I'll go to solid color fill, which is over here. Okay, I'll go to solid color fill, and so I'm not in the right shape, and I'll take back my shape, okay, and I'll rotate it to the right, and I'll extend it again. And I'll put the shape here, I'll bring it up to the level, but it takes so long to do these, um, I won't complete it. I bring it back here and I wait until it actually fills in the space. And I'll do that and then I'll choose a color and then I'll fill a color in. And then I can do this whole design with this. And all I started out is with a single octagon. And the reason, the reason, okay, that I went from this to stretching it out, okay, is because the flag has told me it's two to three. Here is two, here is three. So I'm now gonna base this on my flag. I have one, two. Look at the separation between here. One and two is the separation of three. So now I'm going to go one, two, three, and then one, two, three. It's my three by two, and now I will create the flag out of this. Otherwise than that, I needed the same area space, and I just extended or stretched. And I stretch it. Okay, I stretch it. Okay, whoop. Hold on a second. I stretch it by going up to this thing over here, choosing this, and I'm going to just show you how I make a small stretch. And I'm just going to pull this over here, and I've stretched it. And I've made the complete area bigger. Excuse me. And at the same time, look at what happens to Matrix. Look at these lines. It's a staircase all the way down. So if you say, I don't want to fall off the edge of the building because of the angle and the energy that is being pulled, all you're going to be going is and cut. All you do is cut your way all the way down. It's just a cut. So now we're going to choose a color. And when I fill it in, look what happens. The area used space of energy next to this line cannot be filled in. Raphael 7286 in a constellation of Pegasus, pieces and parts, building, understanding, recognizing, recognition, perception, deception. Thank you for watching this video. So we're going to start a quick video now and add this on to the last one to show you what happens when we use these regular squares and how we're going to have to pull our lines in. So we're going to go ahead and get a hexagon right over here. Now we're going to go ahead and take this hexagon. One goes here. Two of them don't go over here. I must pull it all the way down here to get two squares because of the exit. North, south, and east, west are not the same. Here is my east, west. Here's my east, west. And this is what you get a two by two hexagon. Forget about these, okay? This is your two by two, and this is exactly what it does. This is the illusion that it does. Now, one of the illusions that we do have in this, okay, is by drawing a line over to this area over here, okay? And then, and then taking a line and drawing it over here. Now this is, now you see the box, right? You see this box over here? Now we're gonna draw a line, and these are absolutes what must be done in these circumstances. Otherwise, they can't get this, the same result. And we put it down here. Now we make this design, okay? Look at this design. Although you see three as a windmill, this is your Y letter. This is your Y split. This is a real Y because it goes onto this square. You see the way it now shows a cube? See the way it shows a cube? Now we're gonna take it and draw it back over here, okay? And then we're going to pull it over here. When I create this design, right, I end up with this check. This check on the roulette board, okay, on the roulette board, this check over here will be certain numbers. It'll be 11, it'll be 10, 13, and then it'll be 11, and then it'll be, um, four, uh, excuse me, it'll be um, 10, 13, 11, and then over to 13 to create this. But what I would like to show you, we're going to take it all off now. And show you one more time. In order to create this, excuse me, wrong line. We're going to go back and do this. We're going to retake these and show you because there was an error that I noticed myself. Because I want to follow these exact lines because this is exact. It comes off the internet. I use what is already created. So in order to do this, okay, I need to open up a little bit more. Now this, okay, this angle here must fit onto here to give me true value. So when I put it onto here and I get true value, okay, what happens down here? 
I'm missing. So when I lift it all the way up to this area, okay, this is exactly how it fits on the line. It must be exactly like this. So I'm going to set this up. I'm going to start in this corner, okay, which is my new shape. And I'm going to have to pull it. Whoop, that's not the shape I want to use. I want to use a straight line. Okay, and I'm going to go through this area over here. Take the straight line and bring that straight line. I can't bring it down here because the box is offset. I must bring it to where the center is. I must find the center. Okay, is the center over here? I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to use the, the whole thing completely. So it takes me 900 million more hours than anybody. And this is how I get my cube. Look at what's open in space. All these areas are open. They're obligations. I cannot do it any other way. Right now I'm opening up the reality of how to create. So here's my cube. It took one, two, and one, two, and a quarter, and a quarter. So I got one, two, and a quarter, and a quarter. I got and a half, and top to bottom, Okay, this part over here down to here, area space used. I use one, two area space north and south divided by, remember this, okay, there's an influx inside. So this will be one, two, and whatever the distance between here and here is. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to um, take this and we're going to square it off. Okay, we're going to square it all off to see what our realities are. Here's our realities. Let me see. Here's my realities. This is exactly what happens. You have to do this in order to get truth. Perfect. You need to be perfect. I work with what's online. So this is my truth. Now, if you take a look, these two are X's, right? Or barn doors. This one is a cross. This one is the cross. This is the X's. This is your greatest diameter. Okay, so now where I'm going to go with this next, I do not know. But if you want to take a look at something... Okay, this area over here, this area over here, and this area over here is what I call the fox eyes. And um, it's a Pontiac sign. It's a single division, but because of its height, because of its height, um, is there any other way to do this? I'm going to take an offset design right now and do something a little bit different. I'm just going to do it square. Hold on. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to move it down to this area over here and drag it. Usually, you'll see this shape over here. See the way I made it? This is longer. Now, this is one, two. Two and a half. It has to be even longer. It must go the full dimension three. Now you can see this design. And this is an obligation. They're obligations. Okay, in this design. I'm not going to go any further right now. Raphael, thank you for watching this video.